Good morning guys and welcome to Saturday's Free Racing Tips video. Hope that you're all doing well and looking forward to what is a really decent Saturday to be honest. There's loads of action taking place. Um, you've got some decent races from Fosslas and Weatherby. Also the highlight, a grade one from Sandown. Also at Fairy House in Ireland and at Linkfield on the All Weather. So plenty of action taking place. Loads to get through in today's video so we're going to get straight to things and First of all, we're going to look at what was an outstanding day for us yesterday with the Little Earner Cash Injection winning. And this horse was tipped at 14 to 1 and was backed all the way into 8 to 1. So there was clearly plenty of money around for this one. And I always thought the 14 to 1 looked to be a big price for a horse returning to a, an undulating track that he was sure to like. And also um, stepping down in trip as well. This always looked to be a good chance for Cash Injection. That proved to be the case under an excellent ride from Noel Feely. This lucky 15 was, this little earner, sorry, was also in the lucky 15, which made for a huge day for us because we also had 5 to 2 and 4 to 1 winners in that lucky 15, and it ended up returning well over £450 from £1 stake, so a £15 bet. So, pretty much as good as a full house. It was a shame the premium tip couldn't make it that full house, but. Um, Still an absolutely outstanding Friday and um, we look to do something similar to again. Well done to all of you that were on. Just a few that I've seen were on and um, and were really happy. We had uh, Jason Perry was on. The little earner, Phil Stark, also on the little earner, said his Friday night was paid for. Hope, the sore, hope you haven't got too much of a sore head this morning. Lisa Dobson was also on. Tom Griffin and Colin Pierce, just a few that were all on that little earner and had a superb start to the weekend. So... That's yesterday covered. We've got to get into today now. It's a really busy day today, as I said, and we're going to go through the. <coughs> sorry, we're going to go through the premium tip, little earner, and the lucky fifteen. So we'll start off with the premium tip that goes in the three forty-five at Fosslas, and our tip here is Husey, and this horse is currently around about the nine to four mark. The form for this horse actually took a big boost during the week when the horse who beat him last time out went to one again on Wednesday and I think this does look to be a great chance for Husey who takes a step up in trip and I actually think that could suit the horse. I think he could be a bit of a stayer in the end and, and will need to be for this trip. Runs for Evan Williams and Paul Maloney who... who you'd expect would do well at a track like this and, and both of who are in decent form as well. Um, looks to be a field that the horse can get the better of. I think it's an ideal chance for the horse to get off the mark and for me just that 9-4 to four does look to be pretty good value and I think Husey is your best bet of the day and should take some beating there in that 3.45 at Foss Lass. The little earner today, we stay at Foss Lass for this one and it's in the 205 at Foss Lass, that's the feature race I believe, the uh, the Welsh champion hurdle and our tip here it's Silsol and that's currently around the 9-1 to one mark. Now this horse was a winner of a competitive race at Newbury a couple of starts and had Jack Sherwood on board that day and we all know from a little owner a couple of weeks ago how handy his £7 claim is in those competitive encounters and was then found out by the likes of Rock on Ruby at Cheltenham last time out was probably just a little bit out outclassed with Sam Twist and Davis on board. Today Sherwood is back in the plate and that certainly makes things a little bit easier for this horse who should be carrying top weight of 11 stone I think it's 11 stone 10, but is actually carrying now 11 stone 3. And Jack Sherwood, as we've seen, and as I've said before, he's a jockey I really like following in these competitive handicaps and um, these uh, yeah these these tough races to call. And I just think for the Paul Nichols team, this horse looks to be really overpriced. Could prove to be the class act in this race, I think, um, for Paul Nichols. And yeah, a 9 to 1 looks to be a really nice price to me. And I think this horse can return to that kind of form that saw him winning at Newbury and could even have a little bit more to offer than that. I don't think you can read too much into that form last time out. I don't think that was the ideal race for the horse. And um, yeah, I think Silsol looks to be a great bet for me at 9 to 1. So that's the premium tip and the little earner and as it's Saturday I'm sure many of you know by now it means that the lucky 15 becomes free for all to see. Hopefully we can have a similar result to yesterday that would be outstanding but um, yeah we'll get to our lucky 15. We do have Husey our premium tip in there the 345 that Foss Lass 9 to 4. Silsol is in there as well to really hopefully boost profits in the 205 at Foss Lass. And the other two we have, it's Champagne West in the 225 at Sandown. That's currently a 5-2 to two shot. 
and then it's Khaki de la Prix, and that's uh, in the 320 at Weatherby, that's at 10 to 3, that's Khaki de la Prix. Um, yeah, 320 Weatherby, 10 to 3 on that one. Potential returns from £1 stakes, £1,121, and as I said, it, it's going to be one of those where if you get a couple of winners, it's going to be profit, and you know, three to four, three or four winners is going to be an outstanding day, but yeah, hopefully that's not too much for all to take in. It's a it's a busy video, but um, plenty um plenty of action taking place. And really looking forward to the day ahead. Thank you for watching today's video. I'll speak to you all a little bit later on. Bye bye.